Who the hell are the Arcade Fire? Despite the name, the Arcade Fire have nothing to do with neither video games nor conflagrations. Hailing from Montreal, Quebec, the indie rock band consists of seven regular members in various states of unwash, along with rotating guests while on tour. In addition to the instruments you would find in a regular rock band, you'll also hear the thrilling sounds of the viola, the mandolin, and the hurdy-gurdy, which, quite frankly, sounds made up. <laughs> The band released their full, full-length studio album titled Funeral in 2004. They chose the name because at that point in time, weddings were becoming way too mainstream. <laughs> the album was the darling of indie music sites such as Pitchfork and became their record label's first album in the Billboard 200 chart, which means someone in head office is doing something terribly wrong. <laughs> Their second album, Neon Bible, came in 2006, bringing with it the highest of accolades and minimally improved public recognition. The band were given the opportunity to perform on Saturday Night Live, where nobody knew who the hell they were either. <laughs> the next year, they were nominated for a Polaris Prize, and they became the only nominated act to not be featured on the Polaris compilation, because compilation albums are way too mainstream and homie don't roll like that. In 2008, the band filmed a concert documentary titled Mirror Noir with fame director Vincent Morissette, who later revealed that each member of the band is a total asshole. In 2010, the Arcade Fire released The Suburbs, a critically acclaimed album that at least 50 or 60 people have heard of. This earned them a Grammy nomination for Album of the Year, competing against heavyweights such as Eminem and Lady Gaga. After an extremely successful year in which at least four members of the band remembered to shower weekly and stop looking so goddamn homeless, <laughs> the underdog shocked and mystified the public by winning the Grammy Award. They plan on using the prize money to buy new glockenspiels and blunt stones. And now you know the Arcade Fire.